Well, welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to have a look at a classic drop point blade from CJRB. We're going to have a look at the Feldspar. And as always, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase a Feldspar, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's begin with a size comparison. So there is a classic Sharpie. Well within that range there. This is definitely going to be on the smaller side of the EDC range. Alright, let's crack it open here. Blade open. Pen back in. Switch that around vertically. And for those curious about the blade length comparisons, here is the cap next to the blade. All right, and then let's bring in the, the ruler. Okay, so that's about where the point is at. Again, right around eight inches long, open, closed in your pocket. should be coming in yeah just about uh four and a half inches closed all right let's have a look at how thick this is up here so here is a chopstick that's the thinner side this is the thicker side just came back from pandas okay here's the thick side i'm gonna say that's a little bit thinner than the thicker side definitely the thinner side is gonna fall right in there try to turn that in there yeah that fits in there Okay, so grip-wise, scale-wise, there's a reference there for you. And I'm wondering, here, let's bring in this ruler. It's definitely going to cover that. Keep sliding it over. Gets a little bit thicker right about there. And let's take a measurement across the top here. Maybe about an inch and a quarter-ish going that way. Blade thickness. Um, it's about standard. Let's get these two quarters in here. Yeah, it's about two quarters thick up that way. And then it gets down to a really fine point here. Again, drop point design. You don't really want to be prying with that point there. But it's going to be strong enough if you want to do, you know, detailed work on some soft wood. Whew, look at that point. There's another look at the thickness of the blade stock there. All right, weight-wise, this feels like it's going to be very close to a deck of cards coming in at 3.4 ounces. Here comes the Feldspar. Yep, about 3.7 ounces. That's a perfect EDC weight. I love it. All right, so Feldspar comes in a lot of different color configurations, a lot of different scale materials and blade options. I just happened to pick the black and orange version here. So that's your uh, black-coated PVD. Pretty much a flat grind on there. All right, this is going to be their new budget powdered steel ARRPM9. And I think it goes all the way up to S35VN if you really wanted something. That's going to be about $80. This one should run you right around the $40 price range. There's a good look at that drop point design. Opening mechanism is thumb studs on both sides. And this is a liner lock. Uh, so yeah, that's not assisted opening if you're wondering how I'm flipping open You just kind of hold it like this and just kind of open it like that and it'll fling open There's a little bit of a detent in there when you hold it right It'll just flip open like that, but this is a great knife All right, let's check out the liners on the inside you got full liners on both sides You can see the skeletonization on this side here No backspacers. They went with the standoffs Again, it allows everything to fall through, but it does tend to catch pocket lint. But it doesn't really matter because it's serviceable. You got these torque screws. You can take the knife apart, take it down, clean it, lubricate it. Don't know how I feel about this red and orange, but nice touch there. Accent on the pivot. Kind of a regular pocket clip here. Deep carry, though. It's going to go all the way up into your pocket, so that's nice. Got a lanyard hole here. Clip is a reversible tip-up carry. All right, let's have a closer look at these G10 scales here, All right? I like this type of texturing. It's not too aggressive. Nice and smooth, but still grippy at the same time. You can see the edges are not too squared. They're rounded off. 
scalloping here right around the finger groove area nice and comfortable get my whole grip on there if you got bigger hands it's going to be a challenge though but comfortable grip sharpening choil right down here in the bottom so you can sharpen all the way down to the base i wouldn't call that a finger choil i mean i guess it could but man that's real close but good looking knife once again, guys, that is the Feldspar by CJRB. Remember, if you want to purchase this guy or any of his brothers, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video.